Yeah, good day YouTubers, Tinkero Tool again here with another video. Today we're going to talk about uh, simple chainsaw geometry for those who are not familiar. So this is for the beginners and we'll go through different types of teeth. But first we'll talk about the basic geometry and some of the words that you may hear and I'll give you a bit of an explanation on them. The first one is top plate. So you'll hear uh, th th people refer to the top plate angle. Top plate angle is this angle going here. Then there's, if you look at the second one down, it'll say top plate cutting angle. The top plate cutting angle is that this particular tooth, or like most teeth, there's two, it's a compounded beveled angle. You've got another sloping angle that goes down at 60 degrees. So that, that face on the tooth can be angled at different angles. So we have between 25 and 30 degrees on this angle here, and we have 60 degrees on this angle here. So there are your two different angles, top plate and top plate cutting angle. When a file is put in here, a round file, and the file sits about 20% higher than the tooth, at this point here, it will be about 60 degrees. Side plate, that's the next one. This is the side plate here, so you'll hear about the side plate. The next one, narrow kerf. Narrow kerf refers to the width of the, the tooth. On a narrower curved chain, the tooth is thinner. You can also get some uh, bars that are thinner. So the actual chain drive link is thinner. They start off from 043 gauge, 050 gauge, 058 gauge and 063 gauge. So the next thing is top plate sloping backwards. The top plate slopes backwards for two reasons. It slopes back to give clearance. Uh, so that the, the tooth isn't rubbing on, doesn't create friction. Also, when a tooth goes through a uh, cut in a log, it has this rocking motion up and down. So as it strikes the timber like that, the raker comes down and it takes a partial chip. The next tooth comes behind, does the same, and that generally removes the chip. Also, the top plate has a taper viewed from the top. So if you view it from the top, you'll see that it's uh, wider at the top and now are at the back that gives it another clearance angle the next thing is you've got your raker gauge typically a brand new chain the distance of the height between the top of the raker and the top of the tooth is about 0.65 of a millimeter and uh, if you're using a progressive depth gauge uh, that works better and that point uh, oh, sorry that 0.65 of a millimeter can increase to well over a millimetre by the time you get down to more than halfway at the end of the life of the chain. So that's probably it. We'll just go on to uh, the next part. Now, the next thing I want to talk about are the different types of teeth that are out there. The original chipper chain invented by Joseph Cox in the early 50s looked like this so it really looked like a question mark it was very very rounded on the edge whereas the semi chisel is mainly rounded just on the top there semi chisel looks like that rounded like that whereas the chipper was much much more rounded shape than this much more the other thing that they do the next type that you see is a chamfer uh, type shape on a uh, semi chisel so rather than have that rounded shape it has a flat section on there so has a bit of a flat section on there so yeah and creates a different working corner the next tooth is a full chisel full chisel doesn't have a rounded corner it has a square corner and that makes it come to a very sharp point. There are some full chisels out there that they refer to as it's got a micro corner on it. So I guess you could say if you look at that, you can see a bit of a micro corner on that. But they're using that as a bit of an advertisement uh, hype. The next type of tooth that's fairly common these days, and I'm seeing it a little bit more, is it is a full chisel. But... It's looking a bit like this where the top plate cutting angle comes in at 60 degrees 
So we've got a bit of a straight section on here. And this straight section is probably up to about two millimetres. Then we have the curvature, the C shape here. So this little pointed part. Typically you'll find that on quite a lot of chains. A good example of that if you want to have a look. Have a look at Husqvarna's X-Cut. They came out with that before. Still came out with their Hexa cut, which is looks a little bit like this here. Hexa is 60 degrees in and 60 degrees down on the side plate. Hexa uh, is very aggressive. Then the most aggressive is what you call your square ground full chisel, where it has, you can see that beveled edge on both sides. So it's square ground. Okay, cutting performance. The slowest is the semi-chisel, which is this one here. But it stays sharper longer. The next aggressive would be the full chisel, which is this one here. It probably cuts about 10% faster than uh, semi-chisel, somewhere in that order. If you put the little sharp point on it, like uh, Husqvarna's X-Cut, you may go up to 15% uh, faster. The fastest, or the next fastest, is the Hexa Cut. Hexa was probably up to 20% faster than semi-chisel. Up to. May not even be 20%. I'm going to do some time-based cutting using different chains, so that's going to be interesting what I come up with. But the most fastest of all is your square ground chain, which looks like that, at square ground. So that's the fastest. Now, the other thing is all of these teeth have one thing in common, and if you have a look there, they're all uh, chrome-plated, flash chrome. You've also, uh, watch out for some of the hype. There's a lot of false claims out there. Uh, people are using buzzwords. And I'll, I'll go over some of the, some of the buzz, buzzwords. Some of the buzzwords are claiming you know, ti titanium coated. That's the new one out there, which looks like this. You may have seen some of the drills. They're like a, a goldy color. I actually did a uh, test on this one here. I drilled one piece of metal and the titanium coating came off straight away. So, But then again, I don't know how good the quality is on there. So that's the next thing, how good the titanium quality is. So beware of the cheap uh, chains being manufactured out there. So yeah, so we've got tit titanium coated. Another, another word or a claim you'll hear people say that their chain is anti-vibrating. So yeah, it wouldn't pay too much attention to that one. Another one you'll see that there, you know, they'll say that my our chain uh, cuts much better because it's a narrower kerf. Then you've got the opposite. When you're using harvester type chain, uh, that's for those automated uh, cutting type machines that cut down trees. They'll say that they're using a 404 chain and it's got a wider kerf and it cuts better. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> increased kerf is, is another word that they say. Micro radius was another one that I said that they use on full chisels. Uh, another one when they're using uh, uh, is special heat treatment. That's what they use to say, oh, look, our chains have got an advanced or specialised heat treatment. So there's nothing special about heat treating a uh, chainsaw chain. I can tell you that now. It's only heat treated. It's nothing special. And another one they use in the chrome plating is multi-layered chrome plating. I'll guarantee you most teeth aren't multi-layered because that costs a lot of extra money to do that and I don't know if there's any advantage. Because you're only talking a couple of microns coating at best. Flash chrome, I think it'd be lucky if it's too thou. So yeah, it's not much at all. So they're the different teeth that are out there. And now the most common Probably 90% of people are going to be using uh, semi-chisel. Small percentage using full chisel. Forestry, Hexa was invented by Still for the forestry workers. Uh, I don't know how many people in Australia are using it. I'm certainly using it. I like it. 
And this is the fastest chain of all, the uh, square ground, but it's the most difficult to sharpen, and even with a file. Some people are actual experts at filing it with a file. I'm certainly not. I can file it, but I certainly wouldn't classify myself as an expert. I'd say I'm only fairly average at sharpening that type of chain. Sharpening a hexachain, hexagonal, uh, you get a hexagonal file spaced at 120 degrees, or if you've got a steel USG grinder, you can buy a hexa wheel, or you can grind, uh, reshape your own profile on an Oregon style grinder. So then your full chisel and semi chisel just use a round file. To get that 60 degree top plate angle, uh, cutting angle that we're talking about, and that, that is a grinding wheel on a, coming in at a 60 degree angle, technically it's only 30 degrees because we use 90 degrees as a reference point. We tip over to 60 degrees, which means that we only move 30 degrees, but that is 60 degree position, and we come down on that angle. On a file, if we use a file, and the file... Roughly on a 3.8 chain, a file can be either 5.2 millimetres in diameter or 5.5 millimetres. If it's a 5.5 millimetre file, normally the file will sit about a millimetre higher than this point. In that case there, you'll get a 60 degree angle right on that corner there. So that file creates that 60 degree angle. It's that 60 degree angle that's used out in the industry uh, and that what's been working for years and years and years and I guess it will continue a lot of people have variation between 50 degrees 55 and 60 but 60 is the most popular okay so here's a titanium coated full chisel chain from Orbit Chains uh, they were one of the ones you can tell by that logo it looks like uh, couple of circles three little circles interconnected that's a orbit logo and titanium coated uh, every uh, tooth now these are about 35 to 40 percent more expensive than the standard chain so I'm expecting the only advantage would be that it should last roughly 30 to 40 percent longer between sharpenings if it's not then there's no point buying one of these so this particular one is a 3.8 low profile, uh, so I'm going to try it on a small saw. It's got uh, it's 050 gauge, which is great because I, I never run 043 gauge. Uh, so yeah, being full chisel, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how... It's not going to cut any better, because it is a full chisel, so it's only going to cut the same as a full chisel, but with the titanium coating on it, it should last a lot longer between sharpening. So that's what we're looking for. So we can just take that off and maybe give you maybe a bit of a close-up look. I don't know whether it'll show, show us anything if we look on the inside of the tooth. Maybe you can see. You can see that it's just being ground, so I wasn't sure whether the titanium would coat on the inside of the tooth but no it's not so now what i have here also while i'm here i never spoke about them but if you actually have a look at the two chains here they're tungsten carbide and you can see the carbide welded bit there you see it there see it there so this is 3.8 low profile and this is standard 3.8 chain in tungsten carbide now tungsten carbide cuts a lot slower uh, but you probably don't have to sharpen it uh, 10 times uh, less so you hardly need to sharpen them so hopefully this chain here the titanium coated one lasts a lot longer uh, so I'll get back to you on this probably in the next couple of months to say well look i've been trying this out and this is how it's been going and i guess what i can do is run a full chisel beside it a standard full chisel and try and use uh, a stopwatch when i'm out in the field and turn around and say well 
Now, this lasted X amount of hours before I had to resharpen it. And the titanium lasted an extra 30, 40% because you're paying 30, 40. This was actually 60 Australian dollars. Now, normally you can get them for about $35, but I can get them even a lot cheaper than that. But I had to pay 60 bucks for this. So these are expensive. These are also really expensive. You can pay up to $200, $300 for some of these uh, tungsten carbide chains. So they're not cheap either. So, yes, I'm, I'm buying all the expensive chains at the moment. So I'm only going to buy one of these and we'll see how they go. Uh, it's a bit too early to tell at the moment. So we'll just see and uh, yeah, keep watching the channel and look for the next review on uh, titanium coated chains. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.